Hey guys, what's going on? Thomas here. How are you guys doing today? Welcome to a video where I will be killing vandals with magic. I was supposed to do a duo trip here and my duo partner was almost at the door. You couldn't see the minimap, but if you were be able to see the minimap, you could have seen him. However, he was on Lunar Magic apparently and not on Ancients and we do need Ancients to make this method viable so Bandos doesn't attack us. So we can pray range. I'm praying range because the Major hits less on me because I am, well, in a pretty high Magic situation so I should hit less and I'm also boosting my Magic etc. And the Ranger will probably hit straight through my ropes so that's why I'm using Protect from Range. and. When I'm trying to run away from bandits, I use melee, of course, otherwise he would just pummel me to death with his 50s. Alright, so the reason being for this method is because they changed Bandos' magic attack level, so the Twisted Bow wouldn't be as overpowered on Bandos. Then they suddenly made this method, uh, well, not work. They made Bandos immune to magic and then they fixed his stats or something, as you would call fixing. I have no idea what they, ex what they exactly did. Um, but yeah, they fixed him I guess and now we can use magic again on him and it's still really nice this kill doesn't really give a nice idea of how good it really is because I'm hitting a lot of zeros and so yeah I don't think this method is really good for a solo remember I did plan on going on a duo trip so don't don't flame me for it um my clicks are also not really perfect my freezes are pretty much on point which is nice and don't look at my prayer just about to drop down, but uh, yeah. Um, so actually, five rock tails used in a kill is actually not bad. Of course, my inventory is very weird, and don't look at my uh, unholy blessing. And Zemra Cape, I I don't know, it was late. Okay. It was late, okay? So yeah, from now on, some duo kills, where I'm 100% sure it's very, very effective, because you have double the chance of instantly freezing bandles, there you go. And then you just poke out your trident, and you start hitting um, bandles with it. Now do note that I am in full ancestrals. I have a code I want to um, uh, make the, the barrage not splash or make the barrage hit and I am using augury. My friend however has a little bit less uh, things. He doesn't have augury. Oh that's you mate. He doesn't have augury and he is, does not have a code I want. Um, but still he was getting a lot of kills over me so it doesn't really matter that much apparently I am um, the augury is better than mystic might mainly for the reason that you get a lot of magic defense from this it's it's 25% magic defense which is quite significant uh, definitely very nice to have in your uh, arsenal your pvmer actually mainly for pvp or to be totally fair because who's going to use Myst mystic might if you're doing Sorry, who is going to use Augury if you're going to use a different attack style than Magic? And we don't really use Magic that often. Um, if I want to kill Bandos for a pet, however, I would love to do this method. Because this method is a lot more fun than just going with your tentacle whip and clicking attack and wait. I really enjoy just running around and trying to freeze him. And I really want to do a trip once where I'm going to try to stay for like 6 hours. I might involve some prayer flicking to keep the prayer pots high. It might involve... Uh, I don't know, a lot of luck on restart potion drops because Augury does drain a lot of prayers. You can see, you can see it like ticking down almost every second, which is quite painful. However, in our entire trip, we didn't really use any brews at all, maybe one or two. It's always very nice to use a few brews to just to boost up your stats, of course. Uh, to boost up your defense so the melee doesn't hit you as as much. We are protecting against the ranger, so that's all good. And the major, we have our, our impute heart for that to help. Because the higher magic level you have, the less the major will hit on you, which is very nice. So my overall opinion about using uh, magic is very nice. I really enjoyed it. I did try several kills with barrage only and some kills with the trident mainly after the freeze. And that comes to the conclusion that trident is much better. Uh, <laughs> with, with the kills where my friend was using trident and I was using barrage, he got literally all the kills. It's something we already know that Trident is better DPS, but you never know when you're at a boss where you would never really mage before. To be fair, we actually were able to mage at Bandos before, but not very effectively. And right now, as you can see, we don't hit, we don't splash that often. We do splash, so they did, they did do something right to their stats, um, or to Bandos' stats. They did do something right. We're not like not hitting every time. Well, I, pff, 
it's it's decent. I mean, uh, we sometimes splash, we sometimes don't splash, and overall, it's it's really nice damage. I really enjoy this method. Hopefully, you guys liked this this little presentation of how to kill bandits with magic. I would love to do, as I said, I would love to do it a super long trip. But right now, I'm completely addicted to raids. There should be another video coming soon about uh, 20 plus man raids, which has been very, very fruitful of loots, very fruitful of items, and uh, a lot of fun with seeing people die. So I will be making a video very shortly about that one. Don't forget to watch that video as well when it does come out. Maybe today, maybe another day. I've been very busy raiding. Uh, of course, I'm not going to skip out on raids just to make one video now, do I? Everyone, have a wonderful day. I will see you guys in another video. And... Um, Stay cool. Take care, guys.